Let's talk about the specialized Tarmac SL8 expert for the 2024 season. And specifically in this episode, I will give you the buyer's guide for this bike, but I won't make any comparisons with any other manufacturer. And specifically, I'm doing this because when you think about the specialized Tarmac range of the bikes, they are usually much more expensive than the equivalent competition, so it's kind of always a tricky thing to make a comparison between specialized Tarmac bikes and other equivalent bikes. I would almost consider it that for a person who is really interested in buying specialized Tarmac, then definitely they are just focused on this level of the bike and they have no problems in paying higher prices that specialized usually commands. Specifically when we speak about this Tarmac SL8 Expert for the 2024 season, the retail price is six and a half thousand US dollars, which is definitely, you know, eye-watering price, high price, but there is no escaping that if you want specialized, the top levels of their bikes, you will always pay a premium for this bike. So, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider, and as I said, in this episode, uh, we will be focusing on the specialized Tarmac SL8 uh, Expert road bike. So, first thing first, uh, let's answer the question, who is this uh, bike for? So, the way I would describe the specialized Tarmac SL8 is that it is a proper race bike, but it is also aerodynamically optimized. So when you look at the carbon fiber frame and the fork, and also this uh, front part of the bike, which they call the speed sniffer, you see that everything is aerodynamically optimized, and also you can add the carbon fiber seat post, handlebar stem, wheel set, so it is a proper, as I say, racing bike, but with the hints of aerodynamically optimized bike. And definitely this uh, Tarmac SL8 is going to be the choice of many professionals in the world tour, just because it's one of those do-it-all bikes. Okay, the retail price of six and a half thousand US dollars, as I said, it is eye-watering price, there is no way around it. But when you look at the paint schemes of this bike, at least uh, Specialized is offering three paint schemes. There is one which is this uh, gloss smoke obsidian black uh, paint scheme, very classical paint scheme. Then you have the gloss metallic with a dark navy and a hint of blue, another nice paint scheme. And uh, my favorite one, probably this uh, satin powder indigo paint scheme with uh, hints of silver. Again, considering the retail price, it's very nice of Specialized to offer these three paint schemes to at least, so at least you have a, a choice uh, to choose something from when it comes to this bike. Okay, I believe we can now uh, dive into the technical specifications of this bike and really see what are you getting for your hard-earned six and a half thousand US dollars. Let's kick off with the frame and the fork. Uh, so the frame on this bike is the Carbon Fiber SL8 uh, Fect 9R, uh, sorry, 10R Carbon Fiber frame. And this is the second tier of the Carbon Fiber frames that uh, Specialized is offering. Their top levels would be the S-Works Carbon Fiber frames, which uses the 12R Carbon. So this uh, 10R Carbon, as I said, second tier Carbon Fiber frame, internal cable routing, it uses the threaded bottom bracket, and of course 12 mm through axles front and the back. Same story goes for the fork, it is a 10R carbon fiber fork with the 12 mm through axle and the flat mount disc brakes. So definitely when it comes to the frame and the fork, uh, I have no complaints about this uh, frame and the fork. It is a superb quality from Specialized, they know what they are doing with their carbon fiber frames and forks, and also uh, specialized will offer you a lifetime warranty on their uh, carbon fiber frames. As I say, there is a one level above this carbon fiber, S-Works carbon fiber frames and forks, but then of course the price is just astronomical. Okay, now let's look at some of the <clears throat> smaller components on the bike, specifically on the cockpit of the bike. So when you look at the handlebar and the stem. So you will get the specialized expert handlebar, which is a aluminum handlebar, and the separate piece is gonna be the specialized Tarmac integrated stem. So the good thing here is that the handlebar and the stem are separate pieces, so not much proprietary here, you can easily replace this handlebar. 
For this uh, Tarmac integrated stem, I'm not so sure it's gonna be so easy to, to replace, probably better to check with the specialized dealers. I think this is a bit of a proprietary piece, so you might need to, you know, you buy something from the specialized if you are really replacing this uh, uh, stem. But as I say, at least they give you some opportunity to change the handlebar if you wanna upgrade to a carbon fiber handlebar or maybe change the width of the handlebar. When it comes to the seat post and the saddle, so a classical carbon on fiber aerodynamically optimized seat post plus the body geometry saddle. Uh, specialized body geometry saddles are usually very good, but if you don't like it, again, it's a personal preference, it is easy to replace. Okay, looking at the uh, wheels and the tires on this uh, bike. So here, uh, Specialized is including their Roval C38 uh, carbon fiber wheel set on this bike. If you would buy this wheel set on the open market, the retail price is 1,100 US dollars. And some of the highlights of this wheel set include that, as I said, a carbon fiber wheel set, uh, 38 millimeters rim height. It uses the DT Swiss 370 hubs. And these hubs are the ones with the DT Swiss ratchet system and also 24 spokes uh, front and the back and it is a tubeless uh, ready wheel set. I think the total weight of this wheel set is uh, probably gonna be something around 1600 grams, so you know, very competitive weight. And I will just mention here that these DT Swiss uh, 370 hubs are excellent hubs. Of course, this is not, you know, the best that DT Swiss can do. For example, above this, you can have a DT Swiss 350 hub, DT Swiss 240 hubs, just a little bit better hubs, but okay, on this carbon fiber wheel set, at least they are using a DT Swiss 370 hub. Also, this wheel set uh, comes with uh, S-Works uh, turbo tires, which are uh, tubeless tires, but I'm guessing you should, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it seems here that uh, they are shipping them with the inner tubes as it is out of the box, so okay, you will need to turn this wheel set uh, into a tubeless wheel set on your own, and these tires, S-Works uh, turbo tires, uh, 26 millimeters wide tires, uh, that's a bit of uh, a complaint from me that I don't know why they use such a narrow tire because this frame and the fork can take up to 32 millimeter tires. So I would expect them to use a wider tire and this would definitely be my advice to you uh, in the future when you are uh, replacing these tires, get yourself at least a 28 millimeter tire. You will get much more air volume here and definitely it's gonna be a smoother uh, bike ride. So. That's a little bit of a complaint here from me that <clears throat> uh, Specialized could have fitted uh, definitely a wider tire. Now, uh, as I was saying for the seat post, S-Works carbon fiber seat post, uh, classically aerodynamically optimized, which is totally fine. Uh, it's gonna soak up some of the smaller bumps very nicely. Now, when it comes to the drivetrain on this bike, you will get the SRAM rival 12 speed wireless group set. So, Shifters, uh, front mech, rear mech, everything communicates communicates wirelessly. You have a battery at the front mech and the battery and the rear mech, they are interchangeable and this uh, SRAM rival ETEP 12 speed group set perfectly fine, works excellent, no special complaints here from me. And just some small details, the cassette, again SRAM rival cassette, uh, 1036 cassette and this is paired with uh, with the uh, SRAM rival chain rings, which are 4835. Uh, and also uh, this uh, bike comes with uh, one-sided power meter. So that's like uh, excellent. And I'll just mention here that the bottom bracket is a SRAM dub BSA threaded uh, bottom bracket. I forgot to mention that the chain rings 4835 paired with the cassette 1036, I'm definitely sure you can handle any steep mountains with this combination, so there shouldn't be any problems with, you know, attacking any steep mountains or going as, as fast as possible in a straight line. When it comes to the braking system, you will get the SRAM rival hydraulic disc brakes front and the back, and they are using the SRAM Paceline rotors, uh, 160 millimeters front and the back, which is excellent in my opinion. They will give you a good heat dissipation and a good stopping power. And as I was mentioning here, uh, you also get a power meter, one-sided power meter from SRAM on this crankset, which is excellent. Also, I'm so glad here that Specialized is claiming that the total bike weight in size 56 is 7.8 kilograms, 
So if you add pedals on top of it, you are probably speaking about 8.1 kilograms ready to ride bike. So in a summary, as I said, uh, I don't want to make a comparison between this uh, specialized Tarmac SL8 Expert and some other bikes because it's always going to be a problem that this bike is much more expensive at six and a half thousand US dollars than the competition. But always keep in mind that uh, you are paying a premium for specialized bikes because, again, you are paying a premium on their name, on their kind of quality and heritage. And definitely people who are in the market for the Tarmac SL8 Expert, they definitely won't be thinking about the, the price of the bike. Any special complaints here in a summary from me? As I'm looking at this bike, uh, I only have to say that I wish they've used a bit wider tires. 28 millimeter tires on this bike would be nice. I mean, even 30 millimeter tires, just because this is the entry level of the Tarmac SL8 range, so they could have gone a bit more on the kind of comfort side. And just one thing to mention here, as I was saying, this handlebar and the stem, it is a separate piece. Uh, I'm not so sure uh, about the stem. Is it something proprietary here or you can fit out any other stem if you need to replace anything but at least you can play with the handlebar change it to a carbon fiber handlebar change the width of the handlebar the drop so okay you have some options here all in you know it's it's another great product from specialized no special complaints here and this tarmac sl8 expert is probably gonna be one of the you know best uh, sales bikes for the specialized range so this is gonna be it for today, I hope you like what I'm doing, and if you do, keep on watching, keep on liking, and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!